hi guys welcome to my channel today we are making some DTF printing on a cotton tote bag using some DTF sheets guys this is the paper that I will be using I have my computer already lined up with my words make sure you flip or mirror your design before you print okay guys this is the sheet that I will be using there is a glossy side and there is a matte side which is kind of rough you want to make sure you get the matte side up that you will be printing on so I make sure I get everything nicely aligned I'm using my Epson eco tank printer because you know DTF printing is like sublimation on a cotton polyester any kind of material basically so my design the words are printed out and here it is so I have some DTF powder that I'm gonna sprinkle over the words basically the ink gonna basically absorb the powder into the area that is covered in ink so I'm making sure every little nook and cranny area is getting covered with this DTF powder gonna place the excess back into the container I'm gonna use my heat gun you could use your heat press to melt the powder onto the paper basically you're gonna know the powder is melt because the color change the color become a little brighter as you hover over the words so that's what I'm doing here I'm just making sure the powder melt into the ink As you can see I have two area that the ink kind of smudge a little bit I'm gonna cut those out because I don't want risk it transfer over to my bag so I'm just gonna cut it out to be on the safe side you know what I mean because I'm not sure what it's gonna look like so let's cut that out we don't need that in there this is my bag my tote bag so I'm gonna press that get the moisture out the bag just for about two seconds or so nothing special now I'm gonna place my design down onto the bag I'm kind of roughly measuring with my hands nothing perfect I'm this is my first time doing DTF so I'm just I just want to know how it's gonna turn out I'm letting it press for like 20 seconds at what 380 something and this is a cold peel so I'm gonna set it aside and let it cool down before I remove that transfer and it's nicely cooled let's remove it guys absolutely love it the thing about DTF that I love is that there is no weeding involved like like vinyl so I'm just putting it back onto the heat press for like two seconds I love DTF because you don't have to weed any vinyl and then press is just print put your powder melt your powder and print it on guys and it's just like sublimation it's into the fabric whether it's your t-shirt your bag whatever it is guys look at this absolutely love it I loved how it turned out and for my first time trying DTF absolutely love it guys if you love what you're seeing right now go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up comment if you may and if you're new to my channel why don't you consider subscribing thanks for watching